Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a beautiful song for you today. We're going to learn the first half of it. And it's Jeff Buckley's version of Hallelujah. So this has got some great guitar work in it. Um, a little bit intricate. So it's going to be one of those songs that, you know, I'm going to really kind of show you the, the foundation of like the chords that he's playing throughout and the style of picking that he's using but he varies it a lot. So it's really about just recreating the same vibe. He, he never does it the same way himself. So it's about getting the right chords going and the right picking style going and uh, just kind of doing your own thing with it. And that's really the best way to go about it. So we are in standard tuning here, but we are capoed at the fifth fret. All right, so now since that's capoed there, I'm gonna say like this is a C because we're comparing it to the capo just to make it easier. All right, so let's take a look at this intro, and then we'll get to the, the verse and the chorus here. We'll cover that much in this one. And in the second video, where he does that kind of extended instrumental section in the last verse and chorus, um, where he kind of really does a lot of unique stuff, we'll cover uh, some of that as well and try to get uh, your head around that. So let's start here with uh, this intro. Pretty simple stuff. Open B string, then the third fret, now that's the third fret compared to the capo, remember. So, and then three on the G string, and then the open high E. So we have this. Have those two strings twice. Then the open high E. Then three on the B again. Over to the second fret on the D and the open B string. Hit that a couple times. Then repeat. And then straight down to here. And now he starts doing a picking pattern. Now it's really based around an E minor seven chord. So what you really want to do is hold this minor chord shape, just like an E minor, and then add the third fret there on the B string. And then you're going to start here on the fourth string and just pick a repetitive finger picking pattern. That's what he's doing through a lot of the song. So just get that pattern going. It's just your, ring, your middle finger gets the, uh, the B string, G string is your index, and then the thumb gets the uh, D string. Now he's going to take that pattern, depending on the B string, See how I'm varying the strings that I'm playing across. It could be the top three, the two, three, and four, um, the three, four, and five, or sometimes maybe. I just kind of mix it up, and that's really the picking style that he's doing through a lot of this song, and he adds bass notes to that. So that's kind of a simplified way of saying it, but. Um, so we have a couple of measures of this E minor chord. So coming out of. And then we get to a part that's actually repeated here, which is the first fret on the A, second fret on the D, open G. Now we're going to repeat that. Four times and then move it just to an, an E minor. So just move the first fret up to the second fret on the A. Same picking pattern done three times there. So let's just thumb on the A, first uh, index on the D string and then the middle finger on the G. And then we have two, then the open D, and then we're gonna start kind of a little chord thing here. We have the first fret on the uh, A string, and then the second fret on the D, third fret on the G. So it's kind of creating a lot of dissonance there. Thumb on the bottom note, and then the first, in, uh, the, your index and middle finger get the other two. Fourth one, you're gonna add that open B in there with your ring finger. And then we go to this, 
This chord is the second fret on the A, a first fret on the D. And then you're hitting these three strings again with your fingers. Back to the two, and then you're gonna play three on the A string with the open G, then back to two on the A with the open G. So all together from this chord, Then just lift up that second finger and leave that first finger there. Just and then we're gonna come to a C major chord, and we have a G in the bass there. So what he's gonna do here is he's gonna build up through the chord. So he starts here first. The thumb kind of lightly brush in the three bottoms, the two bottom strings, which is the third fret on the low E and the th third fret on the um, A. The rest of the C chord is hit with your index finger brushing across strings. And what he does is he builds his way up through the chord. He always hits the same two strings with a thumb, but then he backs it up with two brushes on the middle strings, back with the thumb, then make it a little higher. So starting from the second string there, you're brushing, and then the top strings. So you see, watch it make it across. And then we have a loud D major chord, and then we have this, this chord that leads us into the actual verse of the song which is a G major chord. So play a G, but you're gonna lift up the top two fingers here. And you're, you're gonna have the open A, hammer on the second fret. Play that a few times, over to the second fret on the uh, low E. And then we make it to the actual main progression of the song. Alright, so that's pretty much the uh, a lot of the verse here. So we're, we're going to play, that's just the G major chord. So play the full G. Now the thumb is going to be doing a lot of the work here. Low E string, then the 5th fret, then the D. Then you're going to brush across like the B and the G. With so it is. Then the open D with your thumb. Then grab the second fret on the uh, low E. So we have this, and then the next chord, which is you're gonna keep these two fingers the same. Just move this finger over to the second fret on the A string. Pretty much do the same picking pattern. So on that chord, open D, and you end it with the second fret on the low E again. That takes you back to the G. Now some of the times he'll hit, make it all the way to the top high E string. All right, so this is when the vocals come in and he, he continues this and I'll play the whole uh, verse section here, something like this. to the chorus here. So a lot of cool chords in there, but once again, it's a lot of the same picking style, so we just work our way through the chords real quick. So we started the same way we did before. So that G to that E uh, minor seven, um, a few times, a couple times. Then we make it to a C chord. 
then a D, and then to the G chord. Now the G chord's gonna stay down, we're not gonna hit this low G, we're just gonna stay here on the um, fifth string, the second fret. So just more of that picking pattern there. You hit the, that second fret in the, in the, on the A string in the bass. And then do it again, the, the D in the bass. Then the D chord. Now sometimes I'll vary it, he'll, he'll hammer on that note sometimes. So we have this. So you kind of playing each chord there twice. And then we're back here to the uh, G chord. So the chords are changing quicker here. So it's the G chord with the, the B in the bass here. And then to the C. the E minor, back to the C. All right, so let me go cover the chords so far. After this section, so after those chords of the verse, we have the C, the D, and back to the G, and then back to D. So then back to the G. a really cool part of the song. We have D major. And then this is going to be, be a B, uh, you know, really just a, a B7 with a D sharp in the bass there. Now obviously this is compared to the capo. It's not an actual D sharp. So. And then move it up to E minor. That's second fret there on the D, third fret on the high E, same picking pattern, and then into the second fret on the D, and then we have this. That's open G, open G and B strings real quick, and then a D major chord that takes us to the chorus. So that last line of that verse. Now the chorus is, I'll just play it through real quick. It takes you back to the verse there. All right, so he kind of slows the chord changes down here a little bit. So we're just messing around with the C major chord at first for uh, a couple of measures. Then the E minor. Back to C. And then we're to this G with the B at the bass. Now there's a little maneuver there in the bass. Now he does it pretty much every time in the song, so it's real important to cover it. We're going to start here with the, the picking pattern is the this uh, fifth string there, the second fret, and you're picking from the B, the G, the D string, and then you're going to pick the high E string with the fifth string again. Hammer on to uh, hammer on to the third fret. And then back to two. So with this. And then we're back down here to the A, I mean the D chord. And then the same. Alright, so all together for the chorus. And 
we just kind of repeat the verse and go through the chorus again with using a, very, a lot of the similar stuff. So you can get a far away with the song just for the parts we've done so far. Even get a general gist of what he's doing uh, with the little instrumental sections. But uh, I'll cover some of that in the next video. It's Like I said, it's a very random picking style. Um, it's really he just has you know kind of a set chord he's working with and he's just kind of uh, doing what he wants with it. And it's not going to repeat itself that much. So um, it's really about recreating the vibe of the song more than getting it note for note. All right, I'll see you again soon for Guitar Lessons365.com.